What is up guys and welcome back to episode 4 of the Family Guy video game. In today's video we're going to be continuing where we left off in episode 3 of Peter's story. As he continues to figure out where his family is. Believing that Mr. Belvedere is responsible for, you know, kidnapping his family and that the whole world is against them, etc. You know, and that is stupidness. So yeah, in the last video guys, we had just finished the dreadful soccer field, and oh my god, it was so difficult guys, but it took us a few tries, but we managed to do it, and we can see our old friend the mine, he's got the invisible wall, so we cannot attack him at all. Uh, you can see here there's more... Damn cats. Um, there she is. Uh, we can destroy this car. I uh, have a headbutt the car, we just hit square, circle, square. It's, a, it's in a special combo move that, you know, destroys any vehicles. Uh, Peter's also going to learn a new move called the Leg Sweep. It's uh, very useful for taking out SWAT guys that will ride shielders. Let me call it that. Uh, they're, they're SWAT team, but they have ride shields. No, no, they're practically immune to damage. See, like sweep. He's got a riot here. The only way you're gonna get rid of him is by, you know, performing a leg sweep. I don't know, just picking up and picking him up and tossing him when he's when he's down. So really like the only way to do it. Also, you guys want to make sure that you have your, you know, your, uh, what is it, your snack meter full, because you're going to need it. And then you'll see why in a second, why you'll need it. That was actually the first time I was able to get through that without dying. Pick him up, pick him up. Crap, got up. And I wasted my snack meter dealing with those guys. Ay, ay, ay. Got low health, full snack meter. This is beautiful. Hi, Dad. Not now, Meg. I'm trying to rescue you from Mr. Belvedere. 
<laughs> Caution special dad. Ah, uh, great, more cops. Well, at least we get health this time. Oh, let's just get rid of them. Alright, more cops. this guy to deal with. I need that health. Because he will drain our health like crazy. We need to, we need to use it at least twice on him. And you guys can see why like you have to be like very precise with how you take on these things. Hey, stop it. Is the guys like that, especially those mascots, will drain your health like crazy. My advice, don't waste your snack meter. Otherwise, you're gonna have a rough time fighting that guy. Okay, use it if you need to, but I advise trying not to. As you guys just witnessed, it's gonna be a rough time. See that I just made the mistake of listing it. I get hit once and then I'm dead. But yeah, like I said, you guys can see why, and you guys can see in the last episode why I said there's going to be a lot of raging. This is one of the many parts that I could not get past. And the fact that there was no checkpoint after this point, unless you beat the guy in the clam suit, it was like, no, here, you gotta do this from your last checkpoint. I know, I hate to waste my snack meter, but you, you can see how much damage these guys do. And there's literally like no, no health bars in sight. Oh, it was right there. I couldn't see it, you couldn't see it, but you guys could like see that, that gleaming. I have like the very end there. Like I said, you guys see why I have a hate love for this game. And yep, sometimes Peter doesn't even want to do the combos. And you know you're hitting in the button combination, you don't even want to do it. I don't know, it just kind of screws you over.
taking out the gates first. There's the health bar. And the game knows you're gonna have trouble with this. So they give you like a mini health bar there. did it. What is that? Fourth? Fifth time was the charm? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys may remember that cutaway. Some of the cutaways that they do in this game were actually from the show. Oh, we got another Brian thing. A bunch of fire hydrants this time. Uh, yeah, here we are again with the bone meter. Well, this time we get a disguise. Brian becomes a cheerleader. Gotta be careful with these, this meter. Whether it be a tree, you know, a fire hydrant, Brian will, oh uh, good, you know. I'll get the areas to want to pee on it. Pardon me, I'm here for the audition. <laughs> Come on in and cheer stuff. Um, yes, here we go. Give me an F. Give me a U. Give me a C. Oh, wait, wait, we're going for a C. What will they do sex then? Go on in. He said we're going for a team rating. Let's confirm that. This game is M rated. Yeah, you guys can see there, this is an M-rated game. You said we're going for a teen rating. So, all of a sudden, F, uh... I haven't read the games are teen are done for teen ratings now. If I can get to the skies, I can go for the other thing. Hello, giant banana guy. Yep, and now I can walk amongst them freely. No dog here, just giant banana guy. Hello, giant banana guy. I do gotta be careful with that guy. Alright, here's another take. No dog here, just giant free. banana guy. Another TV show. 
there's three tapes, but again, Brian gets the urge around women this time, so this is going to be fun. Um, anytime you get near a woman, it's going to be... Staying near the women. So this means we gotta collect the tape and then we gotta get out of there fast. Hey, you didn't pay for that. Expect it to ride quickly. Yeah, yeah, that was not my intention, but you guys see what I mean. It's instant detection if we do. Uh, yeah. So uh, I can't skip this part. I can only skip where they show the tapes are. As you guys just saw, we do gotta watch out. Because otherwise Brian will get detected. Another for the collection. We gotta slip past this one in here. Until the meter stops. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh come on, who puts giant smashing things in a lumber bin? So yeah, this is the fun part. Oh my god! <laughs> but, yeah, this, like I said, this, this is kind of one of my favorite parts because it's like a... Uh, Yeah, because we gotta dodge these things. It's pretty awesome. This, this is not good. This is like the only one where we don't really get detected. It's the worst job I've ever had. Well, except for one. Oh, we just cut it off of this guy. Uh, excuse me. Would you like to try my smoked meat log? <laughs> Yeah, we just gotta offer that guy a thing, you know, save the kid, etc. Now we're back to Peter. And he's black. Yep, if you guys remember Rufus Griffin from that segment, this is what this is. Uh, Peter, he... No, uh, he, he tracks down the the kind of Batman symbol of Mr. Belvedere, the Cheesy Charlies. And, uh, what, what is it, uh, yeah, as he stands by the door, a black couple, you know, hit him in the face with the door, and then suddenly he becomes his black relative, Rufus Griffin. With the 70s theme playing, so yeah, now he's like a black uh, samurai. Uh, no, not what was a black dynamite kind of guy, if you want to call it that. I can't believe I just let a kid get my health down that low. Just there. Drop that kid's balls and come out with your hands up. Oh, 
Oh yeah, like I said, this is... This is a challenge. I know, I don't remember ever getting this far before in the game, but somehow I did because uh, I've gotten into uh, the specific part of Stewie. And I don't remember ever making it that far on my first try. Without like a lot of failure. And uh, I love how like these kids just hit very hard. Oh yeah, you can see that deals with the kids. It's the ball pit of doom. Take out the kids. Drop some off kits for you. You kid on, stop kicking me. Race. This. Yeah, this is very easy, just destroying these things. I find kicking them is much faster. And you can see our thing got upgraded and we now have a new skill and we can literally just charge through most enemies but separate adults at least they'll just knock us back If you guys thought this level was something, you haven't seen anything yet. This is still, this is only what, like halfway through, like maybe almost halfway through Peter's thing. This is where like the first of Peter's three uh, different character and uh, character fighting styles. So it's gonna get very interesting. But oh uh, yeah, I, w I would not let your kids watch this series though. This is an M rated game series, so you know, if you're not at least 17, then um, watch this with your parents uh, or whatever it is that you know they say. I don't know. I just don't want any, you know, any comments saying, um, the, you know, a parent's kid watch this and they don't like my channel because of it.
Yeah, that girl it's hard. Again, another cut away from the from the show. Except that this, they, you know, they just made it to where he's, I know, Rufus Griffin. Uh, if you guys look it up, it's actually in the show where Peter Frigo really forgot how to sit down. It's, it's pretty funny. Because he does that exact same thing. He just lunges in the chair. I didn't even realize that there's freaking rats on me. Always making sure we put the health kit. I know, very messed up, but that's the only way the game developers made it possible for us to get across. Is by you know, these kids. Like I said, it's messed up, I know, but. I did not make this game, so don't come at me over it. Uh, I think the creators of this were 2K and some other people. But uh, yeah, it's instant death if you fall in there. It's a snake pit. You can even see it says instant death. Oh uh, yeah. Don't fall in. I mean, yeah, you take damage, but there's really no way to get out. So, yeah, it's just basically let the kids die. And obviously, now they won't. They, you guys saw that the first time we just ran right on the platform. Now they're making us jump onto it. Oh crap. Hey, stop it. So it's like if we don't jump onto the, the skeletons, we die. You guys can see sometimes the kids will just run right onto it. How? Okay, obviously they don't want us to run onto that platform there. Oh, we're clearly running onto it, and they're just like, no, we're just gonna fall on the snake pit and die. Rid of that kid. Let the others just die. Oh no, that time to let us throw. We got another one of these. We got a lot of food, health for a snack meter and such. 
about five minutes, I think I can finish this out. This guy is very easy, you know, just hit him with your spin attack in one time. Same thing with this guy, just dodge his attack, hit him with a few spin attacks. You can easily take out these mascots, uh, two spin attacks, dodge their attacks. Oops. Seems I was speeding up there. Like it, it's that simple. Alright, guys, that's gonna. Oh, wait, hang on, that. Alright, so, guys, that's going to end it here. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, turn on post notifications, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from the series. Until next time, I'm Jerry Nation. We'll see you in part 5.